like ridge that kind of runs like a spine all the way along and like we're in kind of a basin right now and then over to the left you can't see it because there's all this like lakeside condos being put up that's where the lake ontario is just driving into the sun why are we on this car trip christopher we are going to dundal my parents have a farm on lake erie keep bees so my parents keep a lot more bees than I have but I have a few hives and so I'm going to go help them take off the honey yeah it's kind of a side hustle uh, some of the money is going towards the boat some of the money goes towards Maybe getting more next bees year. next year because they seem to keep dying every winter which is sad but the plight of the honey bee is uh, called the varroa destructor so you treat for mites in the, the spring and fall, but if they're too bad in the colony, they will destroy the colony over the winter. but for their lawn like a, it was a doing but <laughs> yeah I've never seen that before but it was legit mowing the lawn by itself I don't know, I guess I put it. <laughs> it was crazy I've never seen that before in my life you gotta be so rich so rich and and I mean what are they really doing like they're probably it's Sunday you can't get outside and mow your lawn like arrived at my parents farm and got straight to work. The first step was to get the smoker smoking. This calms the bees and makes them easier to work with. So these are just wood shavings? Yeah. Shavings. For a hamster? Like bedding for an animal. This is just a used piece I put in there, but we could put a new one in. <laughs> to keep the wood shavings from falling out? Blowing out? Yeah, we're keeping too much of the heat coming up and more smoke. Nice. Nice cool smoke. So this is the pack of apiary. And we're going to be taking off honey supers. See, there's a bee behind on it. Uh, escape and so what happens is the bees go down out of the honey supers at night to keep the brood warm the baby bees there's three exits so that they can get out but then they can't find their way back up into the honey supers so 
when you take the honey off, there's still some bees in the honey supers, but not a lot. So this is the extraction process. That's a frame of honey. Yeah, so when it's capped like this, you're, you're pretty sure that it's honey and not nectar. When it's uncapped, it's uh, not dehydrated enough, and you risk that fermenting with the rest of the honey. So you kind of want to leave the uncapped stuff and only cut off the, the capped stuff uh, to, uh, to an extent. And cut off the caps, so when you put it in the, the centrifuge, all the honey sprays to the side of the stainless steel and drip down into our, our basin. Yeah. <laughs> 